Hello everyone and welcome back to this video. Today we are checking out realistic handling for all your vanilla cars. Um, so if you don't know, uh, that is because in 5M, uh, we don't really have like a GTA 4 type style handling system. Um, people have requested it before, but they've never really done anything like that. So now they did. Um, so you can take a look if you go to the links on how everything handles. It just handles differently than you would in your default GTA 5. It, it acts more like GTA 4 and um, all that good stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, and then they have SUV and sedan examples here as well. Um, so you can take a look at them. It, we'll, we'll hop in game in a second, but pretty much it just handles differently than you would by default GTA logic. Um, I think, I don't know if I prefer the GTA 4 way versus the uh, GTA 5 way, but... Um, in case you like the old way, there you go. Um, it also apparently um, changes the top speed and uh, realistic damage for the cars um, within the file. So you don't need an external resource for that either, which is awesome. So if you want to download and install this resource, all you have to do is go to this link top of the description. And while you're down there, make sure to subscribe and then go ahead and click the download resource button. This will take you to the GitHub. Um, as long as you're under the release page, which we are, you can see um, it's pretty easy to download. You just go ahead and click the source code zip file. It will download. Open this with WinZip, 7-Zip, WinRAR, whatever you're using to open up your files. In here, you can see there is a second folder. Do not install this first folder. Go to the second folder. That is the one you're going to need. And you're going to navigate to your server data resources folder. For me, it's on my uh, normal desktop. For you, it's wherever you installed your server. If you're using TX admin, it could be in your TX data folder, or if you're on Zap hosting, it could be in your FTP file access. And then you're going to drag in that second folder. Remember, not the first folder, the second folder, which actually has the data and the FX manifest in it. Um, so you're just going to drag that in. And in here, you can see the data folder has that handling.meta file. Um, I don't think you can actually view this if you open it with Notepad++ or anything. You may. Yes, you are. So you can see it is a very long file that modifies like every um, handling method uh, for the game. So if you're interested in modifying anything, you can take a look at that. I am not. I am not a person who knows how to do that. So I'm not going to worry about it. And then you're going to copy or remember the name of this folder. For me, I'm just going to go in and copy the name and go to my server.cfg, edit it with Notepad or Notepad++, add ensure the name. So I'm just going to add ensure realistic handling all vanilla and go ahead and save this file. If you're using Zap Hosting, make sure you're changing that through your panel, not um, FTP or it won't save correctly. Some people have had issues with that recently. And then go ahead and start up your server. Go ahead and check your console. Make sure you don't see any errors. You'll see started resource, realistic handling all of vanilla. And that is how you can tell it works and loads correctly. All right, let's hop in game and check it out. As we load in here, just make sure if you have any videos you want to see, let me know down in the comments um, what they are. And if you can link any scripts you want me to cover, it makes it a lot easier when I am searching for resources. All right, I have spawned in in the worst possible place to test out handling of vehicles. So let's just go ahead and get up um, over to the highway here, and then we can go ahead and test some vehicles. So we'll try to do one of each class here just real quick. Let's open up V menu and spawn. Let's see what we do first. Compact cars, just spawn your like default compact car here um, and go ahead and hit the gas. So handling is different. Uh, it's kind of hard to see on video, but um, you are for sure more slidey, kind of like GTA 4 um, than um, <laughs> what you would normally see. Um, and let's go ahead and spawn a comp uh, sedan here. Um, and it does feel different for driving. So uh, you can kind of see just the turning radius and stuff is different. Um, so if you like this type of driving, well, uh, you can have it now in GTA 5, which is awesome. All right, let's spawn a cavalcade for the SUV handling. And this one you can for sure feel. You're going to be sliding all over the road with this one. So just make sure you um, are prepared to handle the weird handling. I consider it weird. I know some people like it, but um, I don't know. It's an interesting car. All right, let's try the coupes. This one feels more stable than the last one did, but it takes a while to slow down. That's for sure. 
and to turn it takes a very long time all right let's try a muscle car ow okay i didn't think i hit anything but we'll go with it this one's quite fast um so remember the top speed of vehicles have been increased with this handling um so keep that in mind but it is still controllable all right let's go ahead and try a sports car here so this is just your uh or your sports classic car i guess um so i do feel like it's a little bit different on handling a little bit faster uh reaction times and stuff let's go ahead and spawn a sports car now which is supposed to have faster pickup speeds and everything and i can tell you right now it does we are going pretty fast and then we'll go ahead and spawn a um supercar here and see how it reacts on the freeway so you can tell we are obviously going significantly faster than you would in default gta with this car with no add-ons or boosts or anything um so if you are using this handling pack make sure your custom cars have some type of speed boost um added because they're not going to be able to keep up with this type of vehicle all right let's go ahead and spawn a motorcycle now and see what the difference in uh this handling is um it's a little bit more twisty than um, GTA 5's default, from my understanding here. Um, a little bit less controllable than the tight turns you could take normally. Um, but it's kind of just a personal preference, I guess, on what you want. All right, let's take a look at off-road vehicles. Um, so this one is uh, way faster than the default version of it. Um, we are flying, actually. We little less control than the default one as well um all right let's take a look at trucks i don't think this is the best example for a truck i should have spawned like a flatbed there we go um this car is practically the same just a little bit more faster turn radius um than the existing one and then we'll go ahead and spawn a golf cart which i can already tell the difference with here um it is a much slower turn radius vehicle um than your default gta is it takes a significant time to just turn around the place when default gta lets you do it pretty fast we'll go ahead and take a look at a van slash pickup truck here and this one is for sure faster as well um we are kind of driving around a little bit more slippy than normal we'll go ahead and try something like a bus next let's go ahead and spawn a bus this one is for sure more turnable than the default GTA, just based on how much we're turning in one little space. Um, but it's pretty cool. I don't see any big problems with any of these. Go ahead and check out a police car, because this is probably what you are all waiting for. Um, in terms of handling and stuff, it seems to be pretty much like the other vehicles. Faster turn radius, a little bit faster pickup speed um that's pretty much it we'll skip over military there's really no reason to do that we'll check out the truck now which seems to be pretty much default from what i can tell it doesn't seem to have any um big problems or anything and we can take a look at the open wheel vehicle um i don't know if this has custom handling but uh if it does it well i think it does because i turn a lot faster than this car does by default so there is that um and now let's go ahead and spawn just a normal coupe like an emperor or something and test out the crash physics because they said that the crash uh damage has changed a little bit um i don't know if i have vehicle god mode on i don't um i'm not taking there we go now i'm taking damage um so it's a little bit different damage from your default gta um kind of hard to tell but i would assume it's just m modified so it damages more realistically based on when you crash and stuff um but overall cool resource i like it i'm glad that it uh is working here and um hopefully you did enjoy today's video um if you have any questions leave them on the resource page for the author but overall cool resource i like it and i'll see you in the next video bye